external rotation 9090 capsular axis here. So we're going to be doing a really, really deep stretch for the capsule of this front hip. So <clears throat> set up in our 9090, front knee is kind of in between the shoulders and the hips, 90 degrees in this knee, back knee, hip and shoulder are in line and 90 degrees in this back knee. To get into our stretch, we're gonna think about bringing our belly button up and forward. We're gonna think about showing our tailbone to the people behind us or the wall behind us. And we're gonna think about driving the sit bone on this back leg towards the wall and away from this knee. So, let's go through that one more time. Belly button up and forward. So you're gonna kind of get this arch in your low back. We wanna think about showing your tailbone to the person behind you. And we wanna think about driving the knee forward and the glute back. So we're kind of pulling into this stretched bowed position here. Belly button up and forward. And thinking about that pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt. So if we had water in our pelvis, we're spilling that water forward. We're gonna hang out here for this two minutes, stretched out in this position, doing some nice deep breaths. So nice deep breath in, long exhale out. We're gonna be here for two minutes. When we reach our two minute mark, we're going to do our pails. So pails for this is going to be rotational because we're trying to access the capsule of our hip, our deepest tissue here. So in this stretched position, when you're stretching here, we wanna make sure that it's not more intense than a four out of 10. And it's going to be, it should feel very deep. It should feel like it is in the depths of your hip where you can't really describe where it is. Um, for our pail, because we want rotational access, we're not gonna use the knee, the calf, and the ankle like we might be used to. We're gonna try to push through the ankle. So if there was no floor here, we want to scoop through the floor and drive our ankle to be kind of in line with our knee. So we're trying to get this action. But because the floor is blocking us, we won't be able to get out of the stretch, but we're going to attempt to. We're gonna give the effort as though we can. So belly button up and forward. We're at the end of our two minutes. We got tailbone facing towards the sky, <laughs> and we're going to start to put a little bit of pressure into the ankle, into the floor. So nice deep breath, full body tension, core is engaged, we're squeezing our hands, we're squeezing our arms, we're squeezing our glutes, our calves, our quads, our back, our chest, absolutely everything. And we're starting to put pressure into the floor, into the ground with our ankle. There's a little bit of pressure in the knee to keep it from lifting up off the floor, but 90% of our pressure is in our knee. We wanna make sure that it's coming from this front hip. So the tissue that was on stretch, that is now engaging and contracting to give us the strength and this pressure. So we're gonna go from 10% max effort, 20%, 30%, 40%, full body tension. This should be hard. 50%, 60, 70, 80%. Gas pedal this up, bring it to your greatest and safest effort. We'll be here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice and gradual. We're gonna back on up out of this. 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, until we're fully relaxed. We're gonna try to keep bringing our belly button up and forward, tailbone up and back. We wanna bring ourselves deeper into this stretch. And we're gonna do another one. A couple of nice deep breaths here before we start. Okay, nice deep breath in. Trap that air in the core, create tension in your abdomen, let that tension spill out to the rest of your body. Squeeze your hands at the floor and start driving this foot down. 10%, 20% of your max effort. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Bring it up, greatest and safest effort. Hardest you can push safely. Go, 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 go. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven. When we get down to one, we're gonna slowly gas pedal off. Three, two, one, nice and slow, bring this back out, control that descent, relaxing both the leg, the pressure, and the torso, arms, whole body tension, all at the same time, bring it all the way back down to 0%. Make sure we stay in this stretch. Just a couple of nice deep breaths here. 
if we were going to do another one, we could do go right into our next one. Otherwise, when we're finished however many pails we want to do, we need to stay here and give ourselves some time to breathe and relax and melt into this stretch in a relaxed, parasympathetic state in order to let the body know that we want to keep this new range of motion that we just earned. And you can even see the difference <laughs> from when I started to where I am now. And nice and gently, we'll walk ourselves up. <laughs> 